Hey, what's going on guys? This is M4K from Tech Entourage. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Doji. As all of us noticed recently, Doji products are well spread in the market. To be more specific, Doji phones. You find a well-designed phones with different and new type of features and the kind of like them. And suddenly, inside yourself, you get the famous question. Is it a good deal to buy one of them? For this reason, I reviewed some of Doji products. And today's review is the Doji F5. Taking a look at the style of the Doji F5, we see that it's extremely square. The frame is made from what Doji calls liquid metal. The sides looks great with the horizontal lines which angles down at the top and the bottom. Really decided at some point, there are no cracks or deformation in the phone at any point where I put pressure. Knowing that the case design has not been made with premium materials, but still feel good when you touch it. The physical buttons, all of them are located in the right side, and they are very reachable. We have also in the right side the dual SIM card tray, which supports micro and nano SIM card. It also supports SD card. The left side of the phone has been left empty. The Doji F5 at the thickest point comes in at quite slim 8.8mm. The back piece contains the fingerprint reader, a very nice looking one, and 16 megapixel camera with the flash. The camera comes with the availability of shooting 30 frames per second. In the front we have two sensors and 5 megapixel camera and the speakers. Also the capacitive buttons which are not supported with lightning option. In the bottom we have the speaker and the micro USB plug. And in the top we have the standalone 3.5mm jack. In this device we have two mic. One in the back and the other one in the bottom of the device. In the design and the physical build department, Doji has done a good job so far. Let's move up to the display. We have a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS display with a 24 bits and a retina of 400 ppi. According to Doji, the display has been manufactured by AUO, whose parent company is Acer, which also known with computers and laptops. The display is clear and usable in the daylight and comfortable for the eye in darker hours, especially when using adaptive brightness. It's very convenient and responsive. The phone is powered by 1.3 GHz 64-bit octa-core processor for high-end performance. NGK6753 is the chipset used in this device. The Doji F5 comes with Android 5.1 Lollipop OS. It comes also with two additional pre-installed apps, Zender, a multi-device file sharing app, and document to go a multi-format document reader. And thankfully there's no chain where all Jank were pre-installed in this device. And if we don't like Zender or document to go we can so easily move delete and install them without rooting or in other tweaks. The 3 gigs of RAM in the Doji F5 makes multitasking fluid. The Doji F5 is smooth and stable. Animations are very smooth and transitions are fluid. Slow scrolling is smooth and quick flick rapid scrolling works well. There were no fall closes. But sometimes the phone lags especially while using camera. Jumping to the software updates. There were two alter updates 
both of them for Android 5.1 Lollipop. And still no Android 6 Marshmallow updates, knowing that the most last released phone comes with Android Marshmallow. In this point, we can consider the F5 a little bit late considering the software update. Storage is a bit of a problem in this device. Storage on the 16 gigs Doji F5 is relegated to a single partition. After OS, Darvik and Cache have taken their chunk, we are left only with 10 gigs of free space. It is true that it comes with the option of using an external micro SD card, but note that this will use one of the SIM card slots. In another way, we have two options. Option number one, two SIM cards. Option number two, one SIM card and one SD card. This is a very annoying and disappointing for some users that want to use two SIM cards with some additional space. The Doji F5 camera is the Samsung's BM-2 16 megapixel camera with the availability of shooting 30 frames per second. In good light, this camera produces sharp images with pleasant colors, but not as expected from a 16 megapixel camera. Also, the camera focus lags and seems struggling to get the right focus point. And in low light conditions, the camera produces a very low and decent quality images. And the sitting menu also lags when switching some settings on and off. For users that use smartphone camera a lot, this is definitely not the right device for you. The fingerprint. Well, nothing to say about the fingerprint reader. It's smooth and responsive. But the fingerprint setting menu looks like it comes from a gingerbread days or a sitting page of an older version of Tasker. The Doji F5 is equipped with a 2660 mAh battery. It charges very smoothly and quickly till 95% in about 2 hours. Of course, this device is a not fast charging one. But for some reasons, the remaining 5% takes about half an hour to get completely charged. In my typical battery test of running a video over Wi-Fi through YouTube at a maximum brightness, the Doji F5 lasted less than 4 hours. For me, it was very well expected. With a 5.5 inch display and 2660 mAh battery, this is very well expected. For that reason, I would not recommend this phone for hard gaming YouTube addicted user unless they are ready to spend more time close to power source. For additional components, Wi-Fi is not that bad, GPS is good, OTG is working without issue, external speaker is loud enough for hands-free calling, music or video maybe. The earpiece is a decent quality and provides decent volume and sound quality. In the end, if you can accept to lose some of the main important features with the price that it comes with, about $140, Toji F5 can be considered one of the available options in the market. Okay guys, this is it for Doji today. For any further information or any question, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for my channel. Catch up with you in the next video. See you soon. Peace.